Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm back with another makeup I want but probably won't buy and why video. Now if you are new here, this is a kind of like a series I do on my channel. I typically would do them like once a month. It's not a very consistent series, clearly. Um, but uh, it just, I kind of film them whenever I, there are products that I'm looking at that I kind of feel like I, I want and would like to talk about. Now this series is based off of uh, kind of a combination of Anti Hauls and Samantha March's Will I Buy It uh, series, except for I feel like it's not quite a will I buy it because these are products I probably won't buy. I'm going to talk about why, um, but it's not quite an anti haul either because I'm. It's more of a positive spin on an anti haul, shall we say? Because it's not where I have negative things to say or that I don't want these products. These are products that seem interesting to me that I would like to talk about, but that I'm just not going to buy for one re one reason or another, which I will talk about in the video. So I haven't filmed one of these videos in quite a while, mostly because last month I kind of took a little bit of, of a break from filming, so I wasn't really filming. But also, when I came back, I thought about filming this kind of video again, but I, there wasn't really anything that was catching my attention um, that I wanted to talk about. But uh, within the last week, there's kind of been a little bit more things um, that have caught my attention that I thought mm, I could film this video. There isn't a lot so this video should be a little bit shorter than usual. I should probably never say that because every time I say that the video ends up being long. But anyways, hopefully you guys like this. But before we do get into the video and the products I want to talk about today, if you like the makeup that's on my face today, um, I did my eyes for a tutorial that will be up um, within the next week or so. I'm filming a couple looks using the NBA Cosmetics Viva La Vida collection. I always kind of mix it up, so hopefully Viva Viva La Vida, I think that's what it is, um, eyeshadow collection. Really beautiful collection. Um, I didn't film my face, but I am wearing products mostly from my makeup basket. I'll have everything listed and linked in the, in the description box uh, for your convenience, but I did want to say that I did kind of cheat with my uh, foundation today. I am wearing the Pure Cosmetics Love Yourself Foundation um, because <laughs> I know I said like I took it out of my makeup basket this month and I was really not going to wear that foundation this month. There's other ones I want to test out. Today I decided to wear it because I'm going to be taking some outfit photos and things like that and I really just want my makeup to look flawless the way I absolutely love it and the Pure Cosmetics Foundation is really the only one that I absolutely love the way it looks on my skin and know it looks great in photos. So that's why I kind of cheated today and I'm wearing that <laughs> for my foundation, but everything else is from my makeup basket. Lastly, um, if my lighting looks a little bit different, I'm curious what you guys think about it. Um, I normally have a light on back here, which actually, let me just show you what it looks like. I forgot to turn it on while I was filming some of this, the last bit of this other um, video. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like the way the lighting looks. And so I decided to keep it off. I thought it looked a little bit better. So I'm kind of curious, does it look better with the light on behind me? That's typically how I film and I feel like it looks really good because it kind of evens out the lighting, but something about it being a little bit shadowed behind me looked a little bit nicer. So I think I'm gonna keep it off for the rest of this video. Um, you guys let me know if you like the way that looks. I don't know, maybe it looks better with the light on now that I did that. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna do that. Um, the products I talk about, I will have photos on the screen so you guys can kind of look at them while I'm talking about them. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the products. <laughs> All right, so up first is a product from iHeart Revolution and there's actually gonna be quite a bit of products uh, from this brand um, that I'll talk about as we go. I'm just gonna kind of go in order as I have them save and as they have um, launched and things like that. This one actually launched quite a bit back, but um, in February, but like I said before, there wasn't like a lot of stuff for me to be able to, to do a full video. So there will be a few older launches in here. But anyways, this is their Fruity Fix and it's their um, new deliciously scented fixing sprays. There's a pineapple one and a watermelon one. It says the pineapple brightening makeup fixing spray will give your skin the healthy glowing finish you've been pining for. <laughs> Pine, pineapple, get it? That's cute. And then the Watermelon Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray is ready to leave you looking like a snack with a dewy finish and hydrating feeling. And I don't know what it is, but lately I feel like I've been such a sucker for like fruity themed items, beauty products and skincare and things like that. And so when I see this, I'm like, it's, I don't know. I really just want to try them. I'm really intrigued. I love the packaging. I think it's really cute. 
I Heart Revolution or Revolution makeup in general is more of an affordable line and so I'm always intrigued to try their stuff because there are products that they have that's hit and miss but there are um, quite a bit that are great products and the price is really good so I'm always intrigued to try them and they are one of the brands that I talked about in a recent video I filmed of I think six affordable brands that I would like to try more of so every time I see products from them I'm like ooh, I kind of want to buy but right now I'm kind of just like holding back. I feel like I would be more inclined to buy if um, these products were available at Ulta. As of right now, or at least the last time I checked, these specific products are not available at Ulta, and so I'd have to make a separate purchase um, on their website. And I don't know why, I just, I feel more hesitant to buy um, from a website. I'd rather purchase from Ulta. So if these products do become available from Ulta, I may in the future purchase them. But for right now, I'm kind of not quite ready to, you know, bite the bullet and make the purchase. So anyways, okay, next up again is another one from um, I Heart Revolution that launched around the same time. And these aren't something that's like a super, super interesting to me, but still like a little bit intriguing. And these are their um, new lip mask and balm collection. And there's a bunch of different um, scents to choose from. There's watermelon popsicle, vanilla cake. I love vanilla. So that one kind of intrigues me. Mango smoothie, coconut ice, and cherry pie. All these just look really, really cute. And because I'm a little bit more of a lip balm junkie, I love lip balms and glosses more so than I like actual lipsticks and stuff like that. So that really intrigues me. And they just look really, really cute and yummy. And the fact that they're kind of like a lip mask and a balm in one, I'd be curious to, um, know the ingredients to see how effective it really would be but i'm very intrigued okay moving on um these are some palettes these ones launched april 2nd or at least that i'm seeing on trend mood oh by the way all the photos that i see either come from the brand um pages themselves otherwise a lot of the um these photos and information i'm getting from trend mood as well as indie makeup spotlight so i'll have those um instagram pages linked below i'm sure a lot of you guys already follow them but just letting you know that's where i'm getting my photos and stuff from. All right, and if you're hearing some noise, my office where I film is literally right next to our bathroom and I, one of my ch children are taking a shower right now. So you may hear some noise in the bathroom, you may not, I don't know. Um, also the door, every time it opens and shuts, like it, you hear it in my videos and I'm like, Ugh. but anyways, it is what it is. That's what happens when you gotta work and film and do things when your kids are home. <laughs> so anyways, this next, um, uh, item I want to talk about is a palette and there's three palettes here this is from a brand that I haven't heard of before but this showed up on trend mood and I thought the palettes looked really really pretty it's a collage of, of palettes and you'll, you'll see it on the screen here now the brand is Cara Beauty and um, there's three palettes there's an orange palette a green palette and a pinky purple palette this is their collection uh, cannabis collection um, there's Purple Haze, Girl Scout Palette, and Orange Pop Palette. Now, the one that speaks to me the most is that green palette. I love greens. Greens is just like my favorite, especially lately. I just cannot get enough of greens. The one thing is like I'm not big into, and I know like right now especially it's April, the fourth month, and it's the year 2020, so I feel like a lot of like pot themed cannabis themed collections for 420 are coming out this year like quite a bit i mean you see a lot of cbd stuff and um pot themed products and stuff like that but i feel like especially this month and this year i've been seeing a lot more of them and that's one thing that i'm not super big into um whatever anybody wants to do if you guys do that enjoy that stuff that's fine whatever i don't really care for it i'm not super big into the theme of pot stuff so when i see that it's a little bit of a turnoff for me for products but um these do just look really really beautiful that green palette especially is really catching my eye it does look like it has some pressed glitters in it so that'd be interesting i'm not super big into pressed glitters that are in palettes i do like pressed glitters my favorites you guys probably already know are the mba cosmetics chromalite um glitters but I actually haven't been wearing a lot of pressed glitters in a while, so I don't know. Um, that's kind of one downside. Also, like I said, it's a new brand I've never heard of or tried before, but I'd be intrigued to try. The palettes themselves are pretty affordable, just $14.99. 
Um, and it says you could get the bundle for $36. So I think that's a really great price. So I'd be curious to know if any of you guys have tried this brand, Cara Beauty, if you've tried these palettes, heard of this brand. Um, it just really caught my eye, so I just thought I would talk about it in today's video. All right, so the next item I have saved here is the Sigma Beauty Cord de Rosa palette. Um, this one just looks really, really pretty. Now, I'm not super big into like pinky tones, but I like the rosy peach mauves and like um, burgundy tones and this one seems a little bit more towards like the warmer end of pinky rosy tones and that's why it like caught my attention it does have this little um one one shade that has a little rose embossing in it, it just looks really really pretty the color story looks really beautiful um in the past though um i haven't had a good a really good experience with sigma shadows i think i've only tried one palette from them so i don't know if that's really fair to say um but i just didn't think it was that great and so that kind of stops me from actually considering purchasing this. Now, um, you may or may not know this, but I am a, a Sigma affiliate. It seems weird to say that because I don't promote it a lot because I don't use a lot of Sigma stuff, but I know a lot of people like Sigma, so I just figured when I have a code, if anybody wanted to use it and help support me in a small way, um, they could. Um, but um, anyways, I, I'm really tempted by it because it looks creamy. There's swatches here I'm looking at. They look creamy, they look beautiful. The colors are really pretty, but I don't know. It's also a $49 palette. It's just, it's it's kind of, an, it's expensive. And I feel like even though it's a color story that I like, I feel like I definitely have this, these same shadows, this same color story, and at least two other palettes that I already own. And I've kind of been in this mood lately where I just, I want to be using more of what I have. Um, I've even contemplating doing an official no buy. That's something I, I think I've said in the past in other videos that I don't think I'd ever actually do an official no buy. I just feel like it's not something I need to do and I don't think I need to do because I'm good at saying no. That's why I like filming this video because it's a way to talk about new products that interest me but that I don't have to buy everything. You know what I mean? Like I'm pretty good at just saying like I like this but am I going to buy it? No because I'm pretty realistic with my finances and things like that. Um, but anyways in my mind I've been like I need to just go on a no buy so I could just officially be like no we're not buying anything. I really want to start just using what I have and I don't think I need to go on an official no buy to do that but I don't know anyway so I've kind of been like in this mood like I don't need to buy new products and right now is really not the greatest time to be not buying new products anyways so um, but that being said I do have some new products I recently purchased I'm going to talk about um, a little bit later on because I have something else in here from uh, indie brand that I just purchased from so I have new products to try. I don't necessarily need to buy one, especially that's expensive and it's a color story that's not super inventive or unique, you know what I mean? So anyways, I just think it's a pretty palette and I'm tempted by it, but I'm, I think it'll definitely be a pass for me. Okay, <laughs> and here's another one that kind of has a similar color story, but it looks a little bit warmer, a little bit richer, and it just especially these promo photos photos it just looks so so beautiful so this is a palette from viseart it is called the spritz edit i think um and it just looks really really beautiful these warm tones these kind of peachy tones and red tones just right up my alley well it's interesting because the night i look at these swatches they have they're very light in the pans in these promo photos they look so vibrant rich gorgeous shades but then in the swatches here they're very light like a light wash of color which i guess is kind of nice that they're doing swatches that way so it's not an unrealistic but it makes me wonder like are they really um, can they be built up i imagine they could be built up but anyways the shades that really intrigue me are this like really beautiful burgundy shade that's called uh Figura, Figura, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and then gr Granita, Gran I feel like I should say that with an accent, Granita, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> um, so anyways, it's like um, a really bold coral color, and then this really deep burgundy color, but again, these are colors that I have in my collection probably 10 times over at least, so I don't need this, but when I saw this, I was like, ooh, that is gorgeous so anyways i definitely don't think i'll buy this because like i said it's a color scheme i have the swatches aren't super impressive but it is really pretty and definitely caught my attention so so pretty okay here's another product from iheart revolution and this is not actually a makeup product i didn't know they carried hair care products um but this popped up just six days ago so i'm not so sure if they've had this for a while or they just recently got new shades i'm not sure if it's just new altogether but anyways they have um what they call rainbow shots and tones and it's um like 
temporary like wash in hair color and I'm just so intrigued by that because I usually um, will often do the Joico color butters I featured them on my channel here and there I've um, recently did um, titanium in my hair and it's so fun because it's like just temporary you could have the fun color in, in to your blonde hair um, and the Joico color butter butters I can never say that right um, only last about 10 washes but for me that's quite a bit because I only wash my hair like two to three times a week so that lasts quite a bit it's fun um, anyways but the Joico color butter butters are $20 for a tub and pretty much I need the whole tub to do my hair just once because I have a lot of hair and it's long um, but these are only like six dollars the little jar the jar looks really small so I'm not sure how long it would last or how much I would need for all my hair but six dollars that's an affordable price and they have some cute colors and so I'm kind of intrigued by that um, again, this is something that's only available on their website, so I feel like I was tempted to make a purchase. I really was. I was so close, and I was like, do I need to do this? I don't need to do this, and talked myself out of it, so I, I didn't. But again, like I said, I feel like if it, if it came to Ulta, I probably would be more inclined to make a purchase, but very, very tempted because I, especially like right now, I'm like so, my hair definitely needs a touch-up, but obviously that's not going to happen for a while, I you know, so I just feel like I want something fun to do with my hair. Why not while we're stuck here in quarantine? Give me something to do and something fun to mess around with them. So. Anyways, I, I didn't end up going through with my purchase, but I was very, very tempted. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next thing is, again, another thing from iHeart Revolution. I told you there was going to be quite a few things from this brand because I've just been coming out with stuff that's really catching my attention. Again, this is another fruit theme item, um, and they, the fruit thing just really catches my attention. I'm just like, it pulls me in, and I'm like, it's just so cute. I really, really want it. But they came out with... Um, fruity highlighters. There's a peach highlighter, an apple highlighter, and a strawberry highlighter, and then a bunch of other stuff to go in with these fruit themed collections. So I'm just going to talk really quickly first about the highlighters. Um, these just look adorable. The one that catches my attention the most is strawberries because I love strawberry themed things. I've said this before in the past. Um, I have a strawberry shortcake doll from my childhood. She was my favorite cartoon character as a, as a child and I just love strawberry themed things. And it just looks so, so pretty. I'm going to put up a photo here that you guys are going to see that just looks super, super cute. But for sure, I know I probably won't purchase these just because, like, I like highlighter. And I think I've said this before in other makeup I want but probably won't buy videos. Is like highlighter is one of the very last things I ever need to purchase myself. If I were gifted it, fine. Um, but do I, do I imagine myself really wanting to spend money on something I don't need just because it's cute? No, I don't want to do that. Um, <sighs> highlighter is almost impossible to go through. Like I can go through a blush pretty good. I know a lot of people like blush is hard to go through, but I've gone through a couple blushes in my time. Um, I've gone through bronzers pretty quickly because I go pretty ham with bronzer. So those things I can see myself purchasing because I go through them. Um, highlighters, I don't think I've ever used up a highlighter. So it's like one of those things where I'm like, you no, Maria, absolutely not. I will not <laughs> let myself. Okay, but there's other things. So they have palettes. What is this thing? Tasty peach mattifying. It was like a primer, a primer maybe, and then mascara. So there's different, and I wonder if they're scented as well. But there's like a peach um, mascara and lipsticks, and it's all like themed out, and it just looks cute. The avocado stuff looks really cute as well. So there's a palette. There is, um, oh, it's a priming spray. Okay, so the avocado one is a nourishing priming spray. There is an avocado brow gel, um, a lip oil, and then a mascara, and then lipsticks for the avocado um, themed stuff. Oh, I know there's more. There must be another post somewhere. Hold on, let me find it. Okay, maybe not. So just a full collection with the peach and the avocado. But I bet you they will eventually come out with an expanded line for the, the strawberry as well. Don't you think? I would think so. Anyways, um, I th for some reason thought I had seen that already, but I guess it was in my imagination just assuming that's what they would do. But anyways, it looks really, really cute. The mascara, like all the little themed things look really, really cute. Really interesting to me, but I'm kind of like... No, you don't need it right now. I think in the future I will because like I said, iHeart Revolution, just Revolution the line in general is a brand that I do want to try more of their products because I have been 
pleasantly surprised with several of their products. Some items not so much, but um, especially from their Pro line, really, really enjoyed so many of those products. I want to try more from them. Uh, I'm very, very tempted. So anyways, um, but for now, no. Okay, so moving on, this is a new launch, and this recently just launched a couple days ago from Nabla. Now, Nabla Cosmetics is a brand I've never tried before, but I have been kind of interested in trying them. Um, Lauren De La Fera here on YouTube or Little Blushing Birdie on Instagram, um, she talks really highly of Nabla Cosmetics, and so because of her, I've kind of been interested in trying their products, um, but I haven't made a high priority just because I look at their products, they look great great but nothing super super calls to me but they recently launched this cutie collection and these actually look so absolutely cute the, the name is perfect for them um, because I was like oh my gosh this is so cute so it says there are three new cutie palettes $24 each three new glam touch lipsticks for $16 each and three new pencils um, so anyways not necessarily interested in the lip products because I don't need any more lipsticks not big into lipsticks but these palettes look super super adorable there's only six shades but they're more of a um, um, what's the word? Not necessarily a monochromatic color scheme, but they each have their own little theme of colors. The one that's most interesting to me is the Wild Berry palette, even though it's weird because I've said before I'm not super big into purples and pink so much, but this color story looks, it's just really beautiful to me and and while I don't wear pinks and purples a ton I know that those are shades that look really great on my eyes that lean a little bit green I have hazel eyes um, that lean a little bit green and so those tones do look really good on my eyes um, they're just not I don't reach for them a ton but that palette looks super super pretty I like how they're more deep berry shades like wine tones and then one shade that does look a little bit burgundy which I love burgundy shades so I think that's kind of what's calling me in um, but the metallic shades in here look super beautiful. One looks like it's a duochrome. It's very, I don't know, and $24 isn't bad. Also, these are available at Ulta, so I'm very, very tempted. Uh, I may get these in the future, but again, like I said, right now I'm trying to focus on other products that I already have and already own, and I'm trying to be testing out some new products from a new indie brand and things like that, so I'm kind of trying to hold off on buying any new eyeshadow palettes for right now, so I can really fully delve in and dive into these other um, new eyeshadow palettes uh, and products that I um, recently got, so I'm trying not to, but I was very, very tempted because I was like, ooh. And then the other one that kind of caught my attention is the, I think it's called Metropolitan. This one is a little bit more neutral um, and browns, but it has this pop of kind of a corally color, which looks really, really pretty. And I just think the aesthetic of these palettes, that's really what's catching my attention. It just has a beautiful aesthetic and the colors just look very satisfying together. But when I really look at this color scheme, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, Naked Reloaded palette. Um, it's obviously not exactly the same, but it's like the same color story. And while I actually really love that palette, I think it's a great palette. It's very basic and I don't reach for it a ton. So I don't want to get a palette that's so neutral and not, I don't want to say boring, but more on the boring side that I'll, I'll buy just to test out and try but not reach for a ton and that I already have colors like it. So that's kind of where I'm like, I, I would probably grab the Berries palette. And then the other one they have is the Platinum palette, which is looks actually really beautiful too, but it's a lot more cool tones and I don't really wear cool tones very much, silvers. There are, it looks like mm, two warm tones, three cool tones and one that's maybe a little bit more neutral, but overall it's not my favorite color, kind of color story. So anyways, I don't think I would grab that. But anyways, very cute palettes. I'm very intrigued by them. I like the price. So uh, in the future, I, I, I might get these. They just look so beautiful and so satisfying. So I'm very tempted by them. And I saved like several pictures of these because it's like, ooh, they're just so pretty. The next thing, okay, the next thing that caught my attention and this just launched three days ago or at least, um, I actually think it's launching today. Today is the 20th, yeah. Um, and I think it's launching for 420, I guess. Um, but it was, it was sneak peeked a couple days ago. And this is the 420 palette by Melt Cosmetics. Again, like I talked about earlier, I'm not super big into products that are really um, <laughs> themed around 420 and pot, marijuana, and things like that. It's just not my thing. Um, and I, it feels weird for me to buy something like that that I don't necessarily care for so but I will say that like looking at it though the colors speak to me so much just because it's these greens and then like really grungy tones of um 
yellow and brown and it just looks really like those are colors that I love and it kind of bums me out that it has to be associated with with marijuana um, even though I think it's a beautiful palette I still don't really think I would buy it because melt is a little bit more of an expensive brand and again even though these are very interesting grungy tones of greens and browns I don't think they're super unique from what I can tell to my collection um, to where I would need this palette um, so that's my reason to try to like not to buy it it's almost saying no but I'm very very tempted by it it's a really really beautiful palette that's totally up my alley um, shade wise um, okay let's go ahead and move on because I feel like I said this video was gonna be short and it's already really long <laughs> um, this next one is one that um, I it, the color story isn't necessarily my thing and it's definitely not a palette I actually really think I would want to purchase or need in my collection but I just want to talk about it because I thought it was so stinking cute and this is again another brand that I haven't heard of before um, the brand is called makeup scientist cosmetics but this was just shown on Instagram um, yesterday and I saw it and I was like oh my gosh that's so cute I have to talk about this this um, is the sodium fine palette which if you think about it so damn fine I'm like that is absolutely adorable I love the theme of this it's um, a beaker shaped palette um, and it's the names I think are probably all like related to science and things like that and I love when brands um, start and like with a theme in mind like you have glam glam light I'm pretty sure with all the food themed palettes so I love when a brand like combines things that they love with makeup and then kind of put it together I know there's a few other brands that are probably like that um the, that I can't really think of off the top of my head but I know there's brands that that really cater to like spooky things and their whole brand is spooky I think there's another brand that's like criminal or like murder mystery themed and so everything is themed around that and I think it's really cool when brands do that especially like new brands that are starting out indie brands I think that's really awesome to have a really um specific niche and look for your brand and to cater to other people who love makeup but also love different things like this there's you know people women men who love science but also love makeup and so this is kind of like a fun in between and I don't know um anyways the colors are like purples and pinks and there's some pressed glitters in there and it's not necessarily colors that I think I would need or want in my collection right now but I just like I said wanted to mention it because I thought it was so so cute and um I started following them now so I can kind of keep up with whatever else they come out with because I'm intrigued not that I'm someone who's super into science I'm not like that's I don't understand that stuff <laughs> but it is really cute and intriguing to me and it looks like it's fairly a, a new brand that I've never heard of before so I'm excited to see where they go and what else they come out with because that's a really really cute um, palette and idea so anyways I uh, just wanted to mention that real quick alright so this next one is from a brand called Dandelions Co and they recently released their breath of spring palette and this is Dandelions Co is a very small uh, indie brand they sell on Etsy and this was one of the brands I mentioned in my five indie brands that I wanted to try this year and this is actually the brand that I decided to purchase and try next so I actually did purchase from them um, but I want to mention this because this is a palette that I thought about purchasing I kind of would have wanted it but I ended up not getting this palette specifically um, and I want to show it to you because I think it's really really cute the packagings I'm pretty sure it's like all handmade it looks really really cute it's very um, appropriately spring themed the colors are really really beautiful and um, vibrant and I think it's actually really neat how he did this the owner his name is Daniel he did um, kind of like a gradient of colors there's pink purple blue green and yellow and then you have a gradient of those colors so there's like kind of a darker metallic pink a matte pink and then a little bit more of a pastel um, light shimmery pink and it goes the same for the blue and um, purple green and yellow and things like that I thought that was a fun idea really cute I love that idea um, but when I thought about it like I don't I was like I know I probably won't wear much of the blues I'm not super big into those um, and I'm also not really big into pastels I'm kind of intrigued by pastels but for me when I want to wear like color I want to wear color I don't I think pastels are pretty but I kind of just don't get them very you know, like I don't get it though I think they're beautiful 
So anyways, I did pass on this palette, but it was one that I was like, oh, I kind of want it. Maybe I should get it since I'm going to be ordering from them. But I did end up just purchasing um, their winter palette, which um, just spoke a lot more to me um, with the bigger variety of shadows that it offered. There was just a lot more. The color scheme is a little bit more basic. It's greens, browns, and reds. So again, it's not like super vast, um, but I felt like I could get a bigger variety of looks and kind of test out some more of, of his brand and his eyeshadows and things like that from that palette. And so far I have been actually enjoying that palette quite a bit. Um, I feel like with the spring palette, it would be a little bit more of a, like there's only so many looks you can get with it, you know what I mean? Um, and it would kind of be one of those palettes you, that you may need a companion. It's, it would be like kind of a companion palette, not a necessarily standalone palette, though I'm sure you could get standalone looks from it, but I kind of feel like you would need other things to go into it. So anyways, that's why I passed on that one, but I do think it's beautiful. And I was really, really tempted by it, but I didn't end up getting that. So anyway, stay tuned though. Um, I am going to be doing, I did reach out to Daniel and um, see if he wanted to do an interview. So those of you who liked my Sydney Grace um, brand review where I did an interview with the owners, um, I'm going to be doing that again with Dandelions Co. and um, Daniel. So I'm really excited um, for that. So stay tuned and look forward to um, that video. Probably, I'm going to guess it's going to come out more so towards May because I still want to play around with the shadows and create more looks then I'll also obviously do tutorials and things like that um, for my video but anyways let's go ahead and move on I just got a couple more things to talk about um, really quickly I want to mention this this actually just literally popped up in my explore page this morning while I was on Instagram and I was like oh that's really interesting this is from a brand again uh, that I have not heard of before but it, I, I the picture caught my attention on the explore page and it just says strawberry moon um, and the brand is called Lunar Skies Cosmetics. And when I clicked on it, I was wondering if it would be like an eyeshadow palette or something, but it basically just says Summer Collection Sneak Peek. So coming in May. So there's Strawberry Moon and there was a few other um, photos in the slide, Nude Moon and Peach Moon. And it just says, uh, which are you excited for? So I don't, since I've never heard of this brand and I literally, this is the first photo I saw, I did start following them, but I don't know if this is going to be a palette or if it's gonna be anything else, but the strawberry moon thing caught my attention. The picture is just really, really cute. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm a sucker for strawberry anything. So that kind of was like, ooh, I'm gonna watch out for this and see what this is uh, because I'm intrigued by the strawberry. <laughs> so we'll see. That's just something I wanna mention really quick, a brand I wanna mention real quick that I literally just discovered this morning. So I'm, if you guys have heard of them, Lunar Skies Cosmetics, let me know. If you've heard of them, if you tried them, let me know your thoughts on them. Um, but um, I'll be keeping an eye out for them. Um, next up, okay, this is, again, I'm gonna just tell right away, I won't buy this probably because it's a highlighter, but I wanna mention it because it looks so, so pretty. These are from Makeup Revolution, and I I, I think this is from the Pro Revolution, so their pro, their pro line. They came out with new highlighters that are called Luster Highlighter Rose. And they just look so luxe. They kind of remind me of like just a higher end brand product. It looks like something that would be really expensive, but of course, because it's Revolution Pro, I think I looked it up, they're like $15, which isn't bad for a highlighter. Um, so there are four different shades, um, rose gold, white go gold, golden rose, and pink rose. And they just look stunning. Like I said, the packaging looks really luxe. I just because I want to try more from their brand especially the pro line I'm very tempted so much of their products um, that they've been releasing lately have just looked so luxe and so beautiful I'm very very tempted although even though this is more of an affordable brand um, the stuff's gonna start adding up so if you're gonna get like the highlighter and the new bronzer they released and the new foundation they released and things like that it's gonna add up pretty quickly so uh, I've kind of obviously holding back now don't need to be spending money on new products so I not but maybe again like I said in the future I might grab some of those things some of their new things but those I had to mention those highlighters because they look so so pretty um, I typically try to pride myself on not being a big sucker for packaging but sometimes packaging does really at least draws me in you know what I mean like so I have to admire and appreciate the packaging and the design and just show it some love here whether I purchase or not but I'm very tempted <laughs> um 
Okay, just two more products. So these are not necessarily super new, but I want to talk about them because these are one of the items that I had saved that I didn't have enough products to talk about previously. But these are from Sydney Grace, and the, they released some new lip cream shades. There's a lot of more nude and pinky tone shades, and they look really, really beautiful. Um, they say that their lip creams, I know I have it here somewhere, our lip creams are a cross between a gloss and a lipstick. They're high shine and they well, wear very well. Um, because I'm much more of a gloss girl than I am a lipstick girl or a liquid lipstick girl, I'm very tempted by these because I like something that provides a little bit of color um, but gives more of a shine and it's more moisturizing. So I'm really tempted by these. And also just because it's Sydney Grace. I feel like ever since I've tried their products, I am looking for an excuse to buy more and try more from them because I just love them so, so much. So I'd be really tempted to try because it's something that I've not tried from them yet. And I feel like so far everything that I've tried from them, it's it's been a win. So I imagine I would love these. But considering I have so much lip products and I don't wear them enough, that's what's really kind of holding me back from purchasing a lip product because it's like one of those things, like I said, with highlighter. Like I'm not going to use up a highlighter. I don't think... I have used up lip products, but I've only used up lip balms, chapsticks, you know, and lip glosses. I've used up those, but there's not been an actual lipstick, a colored lipstick that I've ever used up that I could think of. So that's kind of really holding me back. But I don't know, maybe in the future. I know they're going to be having a sale um, in the summer. I, at least I imagine they would still have it. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, if they do, if there's a sale, I may pick them up with some other things. I'm not quite sure. It's up in the air, but they've caught my attention. The colors look really, really beautiful. I love nudie lip colors as well, so that's kind of, um, you know, that caught my attention, but for right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off. And then the very last thing, again, is another thing that's a sneak peek, so I don't really know what, um, well, I'm, it's going to be a palette, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know what it looks like um, color-wise and things like that. But this is from the indie brand Menagerie Cosmetics, which I have tried before and really love their eyeshadows and their palettes. I have the um, Feral palette and then the Courtship palette, both of those I love so much. This is going to be the Metamorphosis palette, and it's just a black and white sneak peek, and it's supposed to be a, a collaboration with a very special influencer is what it says, and so it's coming this summer. So we have a while before this pops up, but I just wanted to mention it here because it caught my attention. Um, they recently actually released the um, Pastel Pup. Um, eyeshadow palette, which when they first sneak peeked that, I was really excited because I was like, ooh, another um, palette from um, Menagerie Cosmetics. I'm really intrigued. I would love to buy another palette from them. really love their formula. But then when I when I realized it was a pastel palette, I was like, oh, that's going to have to be a pass for me because like I said, already I'm not super big into pastels. I just don't quite get them. I really want my colors to pack a punch, not be light. I don't know. I'm just weird about it. I don't know. So I pass on the pastel pup palette, but seeing this one, I'm really intrigued and I'm really curious to find out what the color story would be. Um, I think butterflies are really beautiful and you would kind of go in a lot of different ways with colors um, with butterflies. So, and I'm also curious who the, the, the influencer is they're collabing with. Like I'm really intrigued. That's really exciting. So that's something that I obviously right now I'm not going to purchase because it's not launched yet. Um, but depending on what is inside, I think I may pick it up. I'm really, really intrigued to find out what it is. But anyways, that was the last thing on my uh, saved list of things that I want, but probably won't buy and why. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found it entertaining um, and helpful maybe because I'm sure you may be like me. You like products, but you can't buy everything or maybe you're trying not to buy anything maybe you're on a no buy a low buy or maybe you just have a strict budget um i think that these type of videos are very helpful that we can kind of talk about products but we understand that we don't have to buy everything and we don't need to get into you know fomo i i feel like this these type of videos where i can talk about products helps me a lot with fomo so um, I can still appreciate and talk about a product without actually having it. And so that helps me. I hope it helps you guys. But anyways, that is enough of my rambling. This video is a lot longer than I already thought it would be. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Diabetes babes. By the way, in case you were curious, I'm wearing a tube top today. I just realized that it probably looked like I was not wearing any shirt at all today. Although I'm sure you guys probably know that I wasn't not wearing a shirt, but I figured I'd show you. I was going to change and put a different shirt on <laughs> before I filmed this video, but um, I either forgot or got lazy. So anyways, yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a tube top just in case you needed to know that.